the WannaCry content pack has been updated minor update version 1.01 .01. main thing is that the building block for the IPs has been removed from the rule uh, because it can generate false positive as you say here for multi-host domains and, and also the content of the other building blocks has been updated let's take a look at it go to the rules offenses rules here and let's look for w cry we're going to find the main rule for the packet the only rule actually that this package adds and notice let's look at the syntax when either flows or event matches any one of these building blocks event hash when I cry flow packet da, 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 all these components notice that the IPs are no longer here then this rule fires let's actually take a look at the building blocks if we pivot on their building blocks and again look for WC we should find all these ones in here these are the actual building blocks and if we for example take a look at the this one for the hash we see that it's referencing a reference set actually if we go to the admin tab on the reference set sort these by alphabetically for example wanna cry by hash if we click on it we see the hashes of things that are being involved with uh, the WannaCry ransomware. But I want to go back to those rules because I want to show you something that is extremely significant that I failed to realize when I did the previous video on the content pack. And that is this one. This is fantastic. WCry flow payload. Notice that this one adds an AQL function that is new, at least to my knowledge, in which I can convert the payload into hex. And notice that this one looks for these three components. This is kind of the snort way of finding signatures. So now we have the capability of performing AQL searches that convert the payload into hex and compare with hex uh, patterns that can help me detect things. I'm sure this is not gonna only going to be useful for WannaCry. This is going to be very useful for many other uh, things as well. So let's actually go into any one of those because I want to do a copy of this, uh, a copy paste of this uh, uh, format. So I replayed some pickup from a, from a WannaCry in infection and notice that I'm doing this select source IP, show me the source IPs from flows, where I am right now, where format and I paste this that I got from the building block. It's like, you know, this pattern in the last 10 minutes. When we execute that search, <laughs> we get instances of that uh, uh, that flow being actually be, being uh, that flow containing that pattern for WannaCry. So I increase the search for f 15 minutes, and I even see this one as well. That's actually very very nice. Now, if we go to the offenses, when I replay that uh, that pickup, we certainly saw <laughs> that an offense fire. Let's take a look at it. And if we see the rules that were involved into that, see all these nice rules. This is the one, the one cry that we were referring to about. And these ones, you know, the RFS, the ready for IBM security intelligence connected to a botnet, the X Force. All the, I mean, this is not going to escape <laughs> uh, to curators' uh, attention.
and notice that this one is actually the combination of very many uh, flows and events as well. 